Tell me how you're doing. I want to know. Welcome to the video. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to 2020. Let's do it. Today we're going to do a full day of eating. But before we do, I need to give you just a little bit of context. So obviously it's just been Christmas and New Year. Obviously I didn't exercise any restraint or discipline whatsoever over that festive period. I don't think anyone actually tracks calories over Christmas, do they? And if they do, it's kind of weird. I might not be your mate. So now we're in early Jan and this would typically be the time when I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, wow, you gained quite a lot of fat, Joe. Why don't you do something like a mini cut? So like a brief period in a deficit. However, although that is what I'd usually be doing, I'm going to Paris like the day after tomorrow. I envisage lots of croissants and baguettes and other French stuff being put inside me. Through my mouth, I mean, not in a... All right. What I'm saying is I'm not tracking currently. Since the new year, I've just been trying to eat pretty healthy, you know, roughly get my protein in, eat plenty of fruit and veg, and that's about it. However, for the purposes of today, I will be tracking. Uh, I'm gonna be aiming for roughly around maintenance, and then after we get back from Paris, we'll be doing a mini cut video. Anyway, meal one. <laughs> So all right, it's time for meal two of the day, and that consists of one times whey protein shake, and also one serving of these beautiful little fellas you see before you. These are Israeli medjool dates, and they are grown in the Jordan Valley, and they are fucking delightful, mate. And <laughs> these are actually the sponsor of today's video, which I know that might seem like, Joe, are you actually joking? Are you lying to us? I'm not lying, I'm not joking. Israeli medjool dates are sponsoring today's video and I'm happy about it because if you've been watching my channel for a long time you'll know that I've been a strong advocate of the medjool for uh, forever basically and so when I saw an email saying Israeli medjool date sponsorship I was like mum uh, I think I've, I think I've, uh, is that is that my mum yeah I think I've made it in life and she was like what what are you on about <laughs> don't don't ever call me again anyway one of the reasons why I love dates is because I think dates are basically the, they are to carbs what a protein shake is to protein. It's like the ultimate source, convenient, tasty, actually way more nutritious than a protein shake. Also low fat as well so you can save your fat for better things like peanut butter, stuff like that. They're also really small and convenient so like you can put them in your pocket if you want and just go for a walk and then just have one on hand. Emergency dates are always a good idea, right? Also, I ate horrendous amounts of chocolate over the festive period, and I know it's a bit of a cliche, but I want to actually try and eat quote-unquote clean for a little while. And so I will be utilizing these Israeli medjool dates to satisfy my sweet tooth. Nature's caramel, mate. Mm. Tiny. 
Silent people just heading out to the gym and recently I have been experimenting with a kind of full body split. I'm kind of writing myself a full body program and I think that's what I'm going to move to. So the workout that you see will probably just look like a random mishmash of exercises but I'm going to show you anyway because it's part of my day um, and then when I've got the actual program that I'm going to follow finished I will make a whole video on it and like explain it and make it downloadable for everyone and you know so bit of a mishmash full body sesh coming in Meal three of the day, et voila. It looks like a huge portion, but it's actually, well, it's fairly big, but it's kind of padded out because I've got mushrooms in there and also broccoli. I don't usually put broccoli in pasta. However, I didn't have any greens yesterday and I feel like you can't go two consecutive days without having some greens because that's how you die. That's how you end up with undesirable health outcomes. So I just don't want to be that guy. Anyway, I'm gonna get this down me and then I got more laptop shit to do, man. It's a it's a laptop heavy month because it's January and everyone wants training programs and coaching and meal plans and shit. So brrr, this is me all day. Anyway, I want to eat this and then get back to work. <laughs> Okay, so this is a weird angle. We are finishing off the day with what I would call meal four-ish. We have some cottage cheese on toast, just like old times. When I first started lifting, I would legit eat a full 500 gram tub of cottage cheese every night before bed because I just thought that's what you had to do to make gains. Maybe it is. I'm testing the theory again. Anyway, I've also got some Avocado toast and that is going to be me for the day. So I'll put the calories and macros on the screen There's something else that I wanted to show you but it didn't work out Right, I'm gonna eat this and show you anyway All right, this has got absolutely nothing to do with the video, but I thought I was show you anyway just because I think it's fun so down here we have PS1 
about 20 years old. We've got Tekken 2, some other nostalgic games. Here we have it not working on the TV. So I thought I was going to be able to show you it working, but it doesn't work. I think the cable's fucked or something, so I can't. Anyway, cut a long story short, I bought my bro a PlayStation 1 for Christmas with a few of the old games that we used to play when we were kids. Just as a nostalgic thing really, because I thought it'd be funny. It was, it was fucking sick. But after like a couple of hours, it just, it died, mate. So this is the replacement that I got. It doesn't work either. Anyway, hopefully we'll sort that out at some point. That is about it for the video. Wow, my arm is aching. I'm gonna put you on a tripod and sign out. All right, so anyway, that's it for the video. This is your official checkout sign out shot from Joey D. I don't know what's even in this video, not a lot. I purposely, basically I woke up this morning, decided on a whim to film a full day of eating, and I just thought it would fit because I had absolutely nothing to do except stare at my laptop for about 12 hours straight, mate. Minus the gym session, minus some stretching. Anyway, I'm rambling, that's the video. See you later. Oh, <clears throat> PS, we're gonna do a ruthless mini cut video which should be, I'm thinking longer than 10 days because I don't think this fat that I've put on, I mean, people get mad when I say fat. I, I mean, it's all relative, like I'm not saying that I'm fat. and Because by extension, it means that they're fat. That's why people get mad. They say, you're not fat, because that means then they have to admit that they're fat. But I'm not saying you are fat. You're probably not. I'm not saying I'm fat either. I'm just saying it's all relative. Anyway, I think I'm going to do like a, a 14 day, because two weeks, like a 14 day mini cut when I get back from Paris. So. Get ready. I might even do a Paris video, but I'm not sure. Anyway, bye. They see me rolling. They hating. Zoo! Jordy Lenny is my hero.